We call our project Discover Hawaii for two reasons. A national standard is to learn about one state. Secondly, our keiki need to know about their home to become its future stewards. We started with a pretest to assess what students already know. For more discoveries, our librarian designed an online scavenger hunt using the educational site Enchanted Learning. In the classroom, teachers fostered lessons on Hawaii's unique geography, environment, history, people, and culture. In language arts, students read Hawaiian legends and folk tales, then created dioramas and later captured their stories on the computer. Hi, I'm Alexis. Um, in our class, we cho we had to do um, a book on um, a Hawaiian legend, and I chose to do Beyond Ohia Valley by Lisa Matsumoto. This is um, a scene from my book. Um, it's a diorama and the main character is a tree snail, Kuhui, Kuhui and he is um, a tree snail who lives in o an ohia tree. And on a ohia tree there are red berries. This book teaches you to appreciate what you have and not want what other people have. I read a Hawaiian legend titled The Hungry Poor Aa and the Sweet Sweet Potato. Here is the diorama I created of a scene from the story. The legend is of a hungry poor Aa. Poor Aa is Hawaiian for pig. He was walking through the forest looking for something to eat. Suddenly, he found a sweet, sweet potato. He bragged how delicious it was to the other animals, including his young nanny bird friend, but he refused to share. Because he wouldn't let his friends taste the sweet potato, it eventually turned brown and rotted. The moral of the story is sharing is better than being selfish with your things. My name is Andrea, and I'm in fourth grade. And I go to Marino School, and we've been learning about a PowerPoint. And for, it's on Hawaiian legends because we are studying Hawaiian. So this is our Hawaiian fable PowerPoint, where we have to do, um, where we have to um, write. We read a fable, and then we have to write about it, and then we type it out on the computer, and we do a kid picks picture.
math class, we learned about um, where the Hawaiian Islands are located, and it's located inside the Pacific Ocean, and we learned about latitude and longitude. And we also learned about the map scale, which is when one inch is like um, 50 miles, and half of the 50 miles is 50 kilometers. The distance to Honolulu to Hilo is four inches, and four inches is 200 miles. Um. In science class, students learned our islands were formed by volcanoes, then did experiments to stimulate an eruption. In fourth grade language arts, then we read this book, A Boy at War, by Harry Mazur, which talks about a 15-year-old boy named Adam and his family, and the dad is stationed at Pearl Harbor during 1941, so his family is affected by the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7th. And it also talks about how the attack affected his friends and um, his family as well. And the fourth grade students really enjoyed the book. They couldn't wait to find out what happens next. If you were there during and after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941, right here in Pearl Harbor, or anywhere on this island, how do you think you would have reacted? I would have reacted scared because I would have seen dead bodies and ships sinking in the water. Someone else? Can you come forward, Kikoa? My reaction would be um, frightened and in shock of seeing all those ships' explosions. I wonder if you can cite or talk about how life is different today than it was in 1941. Well, now we're friends with the Japanese, but before we were enemies with them. Anything else? Um, and now um, there's much more cities in um, Honolulu. Okay. okay, anybody else? John? Back then, Honolulu, Hawaii, all of the islands were only territories of the United States. Good. Yes, we have become a state since that time, right? After reading and talking about the place, we finally went to visit Pearl Harbor and see the Arizona Memorial in real time. It was awesome to ride the ferry out in the bay and walk on the memorial sitting above the sunken Arizona. Then we looked at the names of all the men who had died on this ship December 7, 1941, 70 years ago. I felt very sad this happened. 